What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another Magic 30 Cube Draft. We have seven of eight fine people in this queue. So I assume the draft will pop off any moment. Any moment now. And if you guys are watching on YouTube and or Twitch, be sure to check out Factor. Uh, you have about two days before my sponsorship ends, so I'd really love it if you guys signed up for it. You get 50% off your first box. So you can literally get one box for half price and then cancel after that. It's a great meal delivery service. They have pre-made meals, so you don't have to cut them. You don't have to prep them. You get home from work, you want something quick, pop them in the microwave for like two and a half minutes. And I've heard they're very, very good. I haven't tried them yet. I'm going to, I'm going to sign up literally before the, before the promo ends. Um, but yeah, they have a lot of sweet options. I did check out all their options. So check them out. They were purchased by HelloFresh. So they are a HelloFresh company. Uh, and you can use my code factor SE four, three, five. It's gone now, but it's in the description. And, uh, yeah, it, it does me a huge favor too. Cause it's a great way to support the channel and get something out of it as well. So you're not just, you're not, you're getting something for the money, you know? So I think it's just Reckoner Bankbuster here. I do like a good banky boy. None of these cards are super exciting. So let's bust some banks. Yeah, I think I just never turned links back on. Uh, interesting pack. Kiki Jiki is a gentleman. I have to assume to see Rex Arc and Pets are in here, right? If Kiki Jiki is in here? Unless he's literally just in here for fun. <laughs> Earthcraft. Interesting. It turns every creature you control into like a mana dork. That doesn't, that can, that can tap the turn it comes into play. Because you're tapping this to activate the ability. You're using this to tap them, not themselves, if that makes sense. Which it should. I hope it does. I hope it does. Hope you guys understand. I'm going to take Earthcraft. I think it's very strong. And we can see what happens. I've been taking a bunch of control cards in this format, and it hasn't been working out super well. So let's take some green cards. Oh, is, there, is Sky Hussy in here? <sighs> she old red. Fascinating. So then there's like Wave Break Hippocamp. I guess that's fine. I think it's just, I kind of just want to take shoulder here. I guess Garrick is fine. Uh, does it do something with Squirrel Nest? Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's infinite, right? You make a creature with Squirrel Nest. You tap the squirrel to untap the land that has Squirrel Nest on it. Then you make another squirrel. Then you tap that squirrel to untap the Squirrel Nest land. I'm going to take the Garrick here. If we find a Squirrel Nest, we're definitely going in on the Squirrel Nest. Scoot Swarm. I'm going to take this Scoot Swarm. It actually ended up destroying me. And I've kind of been leaning into control decks and realizing like, hey, these control decks don't have enough sweepers. So maybe I'll just be the control deck. Or the 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 deck that needs the sweepers, where the opponents have to have the sweepers, not me. wonder if that'll be fun. Kerbit just sent me that link, Pure Gosu, so I'll watch that. I'll watch that later. I have it loaded up, so hopefully it'll stay un 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 unprivated. <laughs> uh, I guess it's just this. I mean, it's removal, which is actually seems like it's harder to come by in this cube, and it's also just a land. Shigeki. This guy's not terrible, but it's also not really what I'm looking for. Glare of Subduel is interesting. Do I want to be green white? Is that any good? Oh, what up, Shanala? <sighs> I 
I'm going to take the glare. I think it was pretty good against us. Now we take a brushland. They're like, oh, we're going to auto select this for you because we know you just took a glare. Well, you're right. You're right. I will take that. I will take this seventh edition white bordered brushland. Puts a, it gives a new, real new meaning to pain land. You know what I mean? Uh, I mean, it's just Pelucranos here, I guess. Yeah, it seems fine. Oh, yeah, I've collected comics for like a... I mean, collected... I've, I've read comics for like most of my life, but I've seriously collected them for probably like a decade now. It's a lot easier to do when you... When you're when you're gainfully employed, you know. And again, to everyone watching, if we if we if we happen to if the stream just freezes or stops, it's because of, it's because we blue screened. <laughs> that's, that's my theory. I did run. Um. Like I scanned all my Windows files the other day and it found errors and, and corrupted files and it replaced those, which was great. So I'm hoping that actually fixed it. I haven't blue screened since then, which means I probably will because I just mentioned it. I kind of like Multani, but I think I want Duskwatch Recruiter here. I'm gonna take Overgrown. I think it gives us some a little more, a little more options. There's also a bunch of black cards that could come back, like the Shieldred. Um, but also it's searchable. So like with Farseek or any fetch land, we could just get an Overgrown tomb. I guess not any fetch land, you know. Growth Spiral. I do like a Shadow Mage Infiltrator. I took it because I liked it. Not because it was correct. But then again, I don't think there was any real um, <laughs> competition in that pack. Yeah, we didn't take Multani because I feel like six drops in the green deck are not going to be hard to come by. Whereas good card advantage two drops are going to be a little, a little harder to come by. But what do I know? That's some hard evidence right there. What do I know? Stormcarved Coast, huh? It's weird to me that they have borderless and extended R versions of cards, but they don't use those in the cube. Makes me wonder why. Like, those are your premier versions. Like, those are the versions that you should be the most proud of, right? right? Like, those, those should be the ones you want to show off. So put them in here. Make this a Strixhaven Archive card. You know? I mean, I don't know. It seems weird. Uh, I don't collect any current comics. I do read current comics. I don't collect them though, because I, I, I've I had a humongous collection, like does like a dozen long boxes full of comics, mm -hmm. and I just sold them when I was in Florida because it was just getting exhausting to move with them and to store them in houses. I feel like my eyes would get what you might consider greasy. I don't know if it's actual grease. But I don't actually love Briarbridge Tracker. I do love Corsair of Crufix, and I'm gonna take this guy very, very quickly. Interesting. Am I able to stream this should be this should be 1440p, but it's not because Twitch has been being a real shit recently, so uh, I, I mean, give it time. It'll probably go up to 1440p. I'm actually set to stream in 1440p, so. Yep, I know. I know it does. It's broken. It's been doing it for the past week now. 720p, I feel like 720p shouldn't be that blurry, but I'm going to take this, and maybe we have something going here. I'm going to put you over here. I'm going to take Sakura Tri Builder. Do you have anything that 
Oh, come on. Wow, this is a solid curve. Actually, Scoot Swarm works well with with Anointed, Briarbridge Tracker, Garrick. We actually have quite a few cards that are decent. Even, even this makes two tokens. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know how to get it. I'm gonna I'll, I'll try some I'll try to change some settings after. But it's been a real obnoxious hurdle considering it's streaming at half the preferred bitrate or resolution rather. And I really like welcoming vampire, especially in a deck like this. I also like overrun. Overrun could be sweet. I don't think I need it. I feel like it's overkill though. Like I feel like if we have enough enough tokens that are really gonna make it. I also think it could come back. I also think Wooded Bastion is a great option if we're I'm gonna take the vampire. I think the card advantage is just really important here. Create a 2-2 two -two bear, huh? They didn't want to use the secret layer version? I'm going to take Rith. And maybe we find a way to splash Rith. Marari's Wake. Now we're talking. Yep, that's pretty good. Alright, well. I feel like this deck's coming together. Marari's Wake is like a mini overrun. Also, the overrun might very well come back. I, I can't imagine it's highly contested. We got like a 14th pick Sakura Tribal during last pack. I don't think I don't think green is really being fought over. Yeah, usually after a certain point in time, it does update the resolution. So maybe we'll get there. None of these cards are super exciting. I don't love wing shards. Guardian might be fine with Earthcraft. I also do like this. I'm going to take this and maybe we find a way to splash this guy. We'll, we'll figure something out. we got Overgrown Tomb for that guy. I do like an Eternal Dragon. I also like a Plane Cycling because it gets like a Scrubland or a Savannah. But Rith making tokens and us having Anointed Procession is really the selling point for me. Uh... Double black. Don't like that. I'll just take you for the sideboard, I guess. Alright, I think it's coming up. This makes a token. Sure, why not? Oh, Shattered Sanctum. That lets us play... Invasion. Plus we have Overgrown Tomb. That's not bad. And we need something for Rith, I guess. <laughs> uh, do we have anything that, like makes a red not currently the overgrown the overrun did not come back that's a bummer but we got a marari's wake which i think is probably better especially if we can hit like an eldrazi i don't even know if there's eldrazi in this queue but if there are we'll get them ink eyes sure yeah, I like this because, again, the other side, uh, creature creature tokens you control get plus one, plus oh, and have lifelink. So it's actually kind of perfect for the, the deck we're looking at here. Doubling season. That's interesting. Yep, we're definitely taking that. Okay, now I'm excited. Yeah, you're, you're good. I like you, but 
I don't think so. <laughs> Not this time. Nothing makes tokens in here, huh? That's a bummer. Man, proliferate, huh? I guess that makes I guess this doesn't make it's not it's not populate. It's not it's not making more tokens. So I guess that's actually not as big of a deal. I think we're just taking the land here, I guess. Yeah, that's fine. Oh, Savannah? Like I said, we can get it with Eternal Dragon. I'm really just looking for creatures that can make tokens like Usher of the Fallen, but better than Usher of the Fallen. Plus, I think fixing here is pr pretty important. Oh, there we go. There we go. That's a guy. Doubling season. What if we go anointed into doubling into Tovalar's Huntmaster? How many creatures is that? It's a lot. Oh, Master of the Wild Hunt. There we go. There we go. There's also Dakuchi Silencer. You know? Popular guy. I like everything we have so far. I don't feel like any of these are cuttable. This being a land is also fairly nice. Cavalier of Thorns is just good. He doesn't necessarily make a token, but he's just very good. The what silencer? You know. You heard. You know about Dakuchi. Dava Shrine. Spider spawning. I want that to be good, but I don't know if we have the deck for it. We don't have a way to put creatures in the graveyard. What do we have? One black card so far? And we could possibly play Shielder if we get enough black cards. This is 22 cards. I think we're just going to take the land here. Twilight Mire, huh? There's a Bruna. I'm going to take the Bruna in case the Gisela comes back. Sure, this guy's fine. He makes creatures in the late game, whatever. Five dollars if you take stuffy. <laughs> uh, someone silenced my Dakuchi ones. It was unpleasant for everyone involved. That doesn't sound like a good time. I'm actually really hoping that Gisela comes back. Bushwhack. Search library for basic land. Creature control fights. This is actually pretty good. I do not think it's Atraxa. It's not Atraxa. Get your shit together. Don't take the Atraxa. It's not Atraxa. Maybe it's Bushwhack. Maybe it's Traverse. These are both searching. I'm going to take the Bush. I'm going to take the, the Traverse. None of these are any good. I like the like, Triangle of War is what you want, right? No. Thanks, though. Oh, Isolated Chapel comes back? This is way too much fixing. And I don't think the Gisela came back. That's sad. Hmm. 
Bruna actually gets back Tovalar's Huntmaster, which is kind of cool. Gets an angel or a human. Uh, gets back Master of the Wild Hunt. Yeah, that's actually... those. I think those are good enough. Are these all the original versions of the cards? Possibly. That might... Yeah, I, I would say possibly. I don't think I've seen anything that contradicts that. I want to take this Hordling Broodlord. Oh, the spider spawning came back. That's fascinating. Probably not great, but fascinating. Is this our deck? I wish we got more Planeswalkers, but I honestly don't even think there's that many Planeswalkers. And also, is there a way we can reasonably cast Rith? Ubermat, have a good night, buddy. Good seeing you. Enjoy your little snoozle. I mean, if only Earthcraft like let them tap for any color, that'd be one thing. But the fact that it just untaps the creatures you have. Because <sighs> nothing else makes any color mana. So. Thank you. Oh, Ubermap for the sub. Thank you, buddy. Really appreciate you, my dude. Also, Kerwood, thank you for the resub earlier. Always appreciate you, my dude. I mean, we have a lot of black fixing, right? One, two, three, four, five. That's pretty good. I feel like we could probably get away with like a shouldered. Huh. Also, Cryptbreaker might just be decent in the late game. He's just a guy that makes two twos, which could be four fours, could be four two 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 two. Fuck, what am I saying? <laughs> oh shit, he's broken. Two two twos or four two twos. Actually, I kind of do like that. It's weird, but I like it. And I feel like with Traverse. And Colony Ambush, we can probably play 16 lands here. Oh, Crypty B. I wish we could play this Rith, but we have no way to make red, unfortunately. We have one Tribe Elder, and then we'd have to add a, a Mountain, which I feel like makes our deck not great. Sort by color. So we have two black cards. Also, I don't expect this to be played on turn one. This is a late game card, for sure. Um, I could see one swamp just so we can search for with Sakura Tribe Builder. This is five, six, seven, eight, nine, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So eight, nine, and then one, two, three, four, five, six. I think that's as good as we're going to get. Oh, plus we have Colony Ambush here as well. And we have a Plane Cycler and Traverse. Yeah, this seems good. This deck could really use a stuff. I think Bruna's sweet. I, I don't want to play... I, I definitely don't want to play 17 lands and a colony and a traverse. Uh, Bruna gets back a lot of cool cards. Plus, like, I don't want to have, like, Mirari's Wake and then be like, well, I don't really have anything to play with this, so... Uh, keep this... Look, there's, there she is right now. There she is now. Like, it's nice having some bigger top-end cards to really take advantage of Marari's Wake. It's old Crypty B. Oh, big Rabs. Big Rab himself. 
for all you CKY fans out there. So I kind of just want to not do anything so I can colony ambush. Yeah, I'm just going to take four. I mean, they trade. Is it better to just play Reckon or Bankbuster? Then at least I can block? I don't think so. Feels like I want to get rid of Rabble Master. I did not know Crypty B used to be a stripper. Zombies, you know? I mean, I'm definitely blocking here, and if you want to discard a creature, totally. Dif discard a card, rather, that's totally fine. Oh dear. Oh boy. We're getting close. We're getting close to making things happen. So what do we take? Three, four, five, six, seven, huh? We can play a Crypt Raker and block here. Uh is that good? Yes, because once we hit Mirari's Wake, we want to start we want to be able to survive for two turns, I guess. So you know. Even when we're not the control deck and we're trying to be more aggressive, we still get out aggressive. I, I don't understand it. I, I don't really get it. Oh, I guess we're just trading here. That's great. Yep, that guy's good. So we're going to take three, four, six, seven next turn. They did miss a land drop. So next turn we'll have 10 mana. We can cast Bruna, get back Tithe Taker. Bruna does not have lifelink, unfortunately. Yep, go to four. Yes, 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 yes. All right, well. Actually, what is this? How much mana is this? 12? This is 5, 6, 7. This is 2. I feel like we should draw first. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So we can play this, but we can't play anything else. I guess if we draw something that costs 3 or less, we can play it. But otherwise, we're just playing Glare, and that doesn't really... Doesn't do much. We do get to crew with Tithe Taker, though. I kind of feel like it's worth it here. I feel like this is... Come on, something good. Traverse. Traverse! <laughs> Alright, we'll traverse. And we'll get a forest. Oh, what up, Neon Tokyo Rain? You'll never be able to... to lose the rain. Not while I'm here. Yep, they're going to get rid of one creature and kill us. Ready? Are they going to play Hellrider? Yep, cool. <laughs> I, I, wait, I long for the day where they don't have it. Long for it. Well, we drill our lands that game, so that was cool. I will keep this hand. Cross our fingers that we had a white source for this Tithe Taker. Do 
Jackal Pup. Figure of Destiny. That's a good one. Come on, Tithe Taker. Not a Tithe Taker. Fantastic. Well, we got two four drops if we can hit a hit a land. Otherwise, we're going to have to play this as a land, which I'd prefer not to do. If I have a card that can be a land or a spell, I'd rather it be a spell. If those are my choices. Sure. <sighs> Okay. Still nothing to do, so we take what's <laughs> it's five next turn. Oh, wonderful. I guess we can play Garrick and kill their figure. Before it becomes a Oh wait, hold on five. No, 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 no. Oh, why didn't I play Tithe? I didn't I, oh my god, I totally forgot to play Tithe Taker. I was so tilted. I was like, you know what? I don't even care. Yeah, I could have actually played Tithe Taker and then traded with Porcelain Legionnaire there. That would have been much better. Yeah, that's my own fault. I literally just got so tilted and thinking like, oh, cool, I drew another land and not a card I could play that like my brain was like, hey, you you don't have anything to play because you, you drew a land. So that's my fault. I can't even blame anything else. That was really bad, yeah. I'm not a big fan of that. Hmm. Interesting. Um. Interesting. One, two, three. Play you. Untap, untap. Play you. Don't like that. I'm pretty sure we just get rid of this figure of destiny. They're going to mana tie this. They did not mana tie this. Oh, he did. All right, that was not bad. That feels okay. If we hit another land, we can play Tithe Taker into Pelucranos. Which feels okay. Cathar Commando. You got it. I blame the millennials. <laughs> I do too. Thanks a lot, Obama. Yep, you got it. I would love to be able to untap Pelucranos and like deal a bunch of damage. Wouldn't that be cool? Choose a basic... Does it basic one? Oh, interesting. Fascinating. All right. Fingers crossed. Hope hope you survive. They played that, that plane so fast that there's no way this guy's surviving. They're gonna, like... Do some, they're going to do some shenanigans here. They did not do any shenanigans here. One, two, three, four, six, seven. They can pump this guy to like a million. It gets plus two. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So we're basically dead if we don't block. So we got to block. Sure. Everything's coming up, coming up Millhouse here. Man, if only we had this guy down one turn sooner. I blame myself. I'm 
tempted to go get a land. But if we do that, play the land, like we can keep, I guess we can do that with food, even if we get a land. We go pay two, get a land, we play the land, we have four. We tap both of the creatures. Hmm. Yeah, this feels correct. So... Play you... And then we can keep up Colony Ambush. All right. Well, there will be no squirrels, unfortunately. We did not pick up a squirrel nest. Hmm. Fascinating. Well, literally have to block this guy, so I will. Now we're at two against the red-white deck. Doesn't feel great. Drill land. I mean, it's just a matter of, like, do they untap and kill us, really? That's... Oh, I bet this format has Thrag Tusk. In fact, it does. I know we passed it. Maybe my deck needs threat. Huh. <laughs> All right. Got to be honest. Didn't see that one coming. Well, okay. When they're at 18 and I'm at two, that seemed a little preemptive, but maybe they know their deck. They might not have had any other burn spells. Which is kind of good for us to know, I guess. I kind of like Woe in here. I'm not sure I care about Earthcraft. I think Phyrexian Revoker just as a body might be better. Yeah, I'm just going to bring in two more bodies and cut two cute things. Abandoned? What do you mean, like the whole match? Because I don't think so. Otherwise, we wouldn't have left sideboarding. They would have, we would have still been sideboarding until all their time was gone. <clears throat> We'll keep this hand. Hmm, okay. Hmm. 
her and the scooter sky discard a card gains indestructible we can just name her that's kind of cool or do we want to try elder to make sure we hit a land i think we want to do that because i think woe strider is going to be pretty decent here Although if we hit another land, we're probably going to go Anointed Procession into Woe Strider just to make two goats. That's a good one. That is a good one. Let's get a Plains for obvious reasons. Now we're going to draw another Plains. A Scoot Swarm, eh? Land here would have been great, right? Hmm. Land here into Anointed Procession and then another land. We could have went Scoot Swarm into double Scoot Swarms. But alas. <sighs> there was no... I actually don't know, like, I get why people call him Steve, but I don't know how it makes any sense, and it triggers me so badly. I'm like, where's the V and the E? Are you just making it up? Oh, I know Steve, but that's not Steve. That's a Sakura Tribe Elder. I do know Scuba Steve. They're like, wait a minute, maybe I won't do anything first. If it's a land, we're keeping. That's a land, but it's not the land we want. <sighs> we're going to bottom it. Like, being able to play that and in, into land into this is not what we want. Having four and playing Anointed Procession is not what we want. Like, or on four, like, being able to get a land and only have three mana is not ideal. One time. Cool. Super cool. Everybody's having a good time. <laughs> oh god, of course like we win we win game 2 by the skin of our fucking teeth and of course we just can't get a fourth land. To even Oh, it's actually not even a third land because we literally had to secure a tribal for a second land. So we've drawn two lands. Naturally. Naturally. This is better mana usage, but this blocks better. This doesn't do anything right now. Oh boy. I'm having a good time. Hmm, boy. <sighs> I mean, Evoker doesn't really do anything. I'd rather have Tide Taker because at least if it dies, it puts out another blocker for a goblin token. Six mana? Inferno Titan? Okay. <laughs> cool. Sick draws. Yep. Thank goodness she has haste. It would be really unfortunate if she did not.
I'm sure they'll discard a card. Oh, they didn't discard a card. Okay. Well, I, I mean, I'm sure we're dead. That's what I meant to say. I'm sure we're dead. Yep. Cool. Seven damage. We have nothing on board. Nothing that can really stop an Aurelia. Oh, three lands, huh? Good times. Cool. <laughs> this cube has been fucking miserable for me, I'll be honest with you. God, I love cube drafting, but this cube has been something else, man. Like, it feels like if you don't have the absolute fastest deck in the format, you just can't win. Because the card's just like, why do we have Briar Bridge Tracker? Like, what does this card do? Like, it's not even that good. It makes you a treasure. And then it gets plus two if you have a token. Like, like I mean, any there's so many three mana green creatures that are so much better than it. I know you have, like, the point of the Magic 30 key was to fill this criteria where, like, you have to have cards from the past 30 sets or something. Or Magic 30 or History or whatever it is. Right? Like, you have, like, several cards from each set. So you're trying to fulfill that criteria, but I'm pretty sure there's better cards in, in Midnight Hunt. Is it Midnight Hunt or Crimson Vow? Whichever the one it is. It's just like it's not an impressive card. And like I'd much rather have like Steel Leaf Paladin or Bloated Contaminator, which is always a 4-4. Four -four and it has Trample. Like, I don't know. <sighs> I'm keeping this because Eternal Dragon lets us get a Savannah. I think we play this guy first. Typically in situations like this, after I get wrecked by an extremely fast aggro deck, I get the PTSD where I'm like... Well, if they're going to come out swinging, I'd rather not take two down. Oh, here we go. <laughs> he spoke too soon. All right. Well, we'll be fine, right? Guys? We're definitely not making a zombie. We're definitely prioritizing getting a forest here. Okie dokie. Yeah, I don't know, man. Maybe this format's just like really, really... Um, rewarding the the extremely aggressive players. Got a green source, so that's important. Yeah. Well, it's decent to discard, I guess. We can just throw out a planes if we really feel like we need to. Oh, they paid for it. Fascinating. Well, I'll be. Oh, you got to do a black, huh? Okay. Well, we'll do this guy and this guy. Get rid of this guy. So we're definitely just blocking this guy because it reduces the total number of goblins they have on board. I'm going to sacrifice him in response because that's what I like to do. They didn't. Damage was dealt. Now I'm gonna lava dart your zombie token. I guess they could have lava darted Crypt Breaker if that's what they had. Goblin Grenade? Wow. What on the earth? Okay, well, that's a series of events, I suppose. So here's the question. I think it's not a question. I think we. Oh, this is a this is a solid array of four drops. Can't cast Pelucranos or Master of the Wild Hunt. I guess next turn. No, next turn we'd have to use a green to get a green, and that doesn't really. I 
I'm tempted to kill this guy, but I really think it's probably better to make a wolf here. I don't think this guy is that threatening at this particular moment. And if they find any way to remove our zombie, then we just lose our Garrick. And I think Garrick can probably do a good job here. Of course, now they're going to play Muxus for six, right? And then I'm going to feel real silly. Okay, Beetleback Chief. Yeah, you could have played that other way. That's fine. I love me a goblin grenade. I bet you do. Oh, that's interesting. Oh, I like that and make a wolf too. However, I do think we need to get a green here so that next turn we can start doing some some dirties. And I probably do want to kill Prospector now because obvious reasons. You could sack him in response so Garrick doesn't flip, which is actually fine. He did. One, two, three. All right. Looks like we're doing okay. We're doing okay. If you guys want to support the channel, you can subscribe or follow. Those are great ways to do so. Please consider those. You can also uh, check out Factor. You can find the link and promo code up in the corner and down in the description or in the chat. It's pretty much everywhere. Uh, you get 50% off your first box. They're a sponsor until like April 3rd. So you only got a few more days. But I would love it if you guys check them out. I get a great kickback. They're a great sponsor. It's a great deal. It's really not much to say. I don't know. They're great prepackaged meals. Uh, you don't have to you don't have to assemble them <laughs> and prepare them like you do with HelloFresh. Oh, wow. See, this is what I was assuming might happen. But then I'm like, I eat three guys, and then Garrick takes one. It's just not a winning combination. Also, Garrick now says, make a 2-2 two -two draw card. Make two 2-2s two -two draw a card. That was an easy choice. This is what we wanted to be doing in round one. Is this Scoop City yet? This feels like Scoop City to me. But I'm no expert, you see. <clears throat> Actually, maybe I shouldn't have attacked here. Maybe that was a little greedy. Because they have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 creatures, and we have 4. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Yeah, so if they want to kill Garrick, they can, and that's kind of a that's kind of sad. We still have Master of the Wild Hunt in hand, though. Oh, Gem Palm Incinerator. Is it target creature? It is target creature. That's unfortunate. Yes, I've heard Factor is also very environmentally conscious, where they make uh, a lot of their packaging is cardboard <laughs> instead of like plastic super fritz i didn't even know you knew i didn't even know you had all this factor knowledge that's kind of cool i guess we're just making two beasts i have one card in hand are we at any risk of five six seven eight nine we can take nine how much damage can we do with Pelucranos here is the question. I think a lot. So, Pelucranos is four. 
And then we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven mana, so we can deal three damage. Hmm. It's not as exciting as I'd like it to be. I think we're just going to make wolves here. We could play this untapped, but I don't feel great about going that much lower. I think we just want to make sure the sling gang is not. Oh, we also don't have Earthcraft in play. That also, that also helps. Superfit said they also allow you to add protein to some of their vegan and vegetarian meals if you like, and they purposely source their seafood using renewable fishing practices. I am actually shocked at this at the factor knowledge Superfritz is breaking off here. I'm just gonna pass. I don't want them to get any damage through when they have nine potential damage on board. I think we do need to take that sling gang lieutenant off the board next turn. No mana down. <laughs> I think he I think you do need mana down though for, for Paul Ukrainos to fight for you. Oh no attacks though. One one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, this is gonna be two wolves. God damn, that's gonna be exciting. Come on. Oh yeah, beautiful. I think we're just gonna take out the sling gang with this. And it's going to kind of... What is what is going on here? I'm trying to click on this guy. Is it... I'm in my upkeep. It's hard to... It's hard to activate your planeswalkers during your upkeep. Oh, Billy Biscuits. <laughs> that was awkward. Wow, this has just been such a pleasure. I, I'm such a lucky boy. I can't wait to go home. Okay. Well, this guy's got to go. And if they want to go all in on there... On their slinging. <laughs> Inside of me is two wolves. One is this. Uh, where is this from? Where is this wolf from? I don't know. And the other is this Innistrad wolf. Oh, is he just dying? Oh, cool. That's cool. One, two, three, four, five... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. What do we got? Five, six, seven, eight, nine wolves, and they have eight, nine. One, two, three, four. We'll 12 you. We'll see if that does anything. I'm significantly less scared with them not having Sling Gang on board. Unless they reanimate it, and the joke's on me. Okay. They literally have all the goblins. Mogwar Marshal. Krenko. Boy, that's a real... That's a real fine gentleman there. Well, we're definitely going to kill that guy. This just taps all my untapped wolves, right? Okay, well, this is a lot of goblins. Regardless of whether or not they do anything here. <laughs> Till Krenko 20. I think it takes 15. Okay, they just concede. Maybe they were Krenko all along, and that's why they just they couldn't they couldn't play any longer. Krenko dies, I die. If one of these was a Leshnorn, I'd really prefer it. I don't think Earthcraft is doing what I want it to in this deck. I'm bringing Revoker. Shutting down Krenko seems pretty good. <laughs> uh, yeah, this hand seems fine. We are on the draw. I'll allow it. I will keep. Oh, 
Oh yeah, there you go. That's a that's a that's a beaut. Oh, there we go. All right. Did we just shut down their aether vial? Seems a little dirty, but I'm okay with it. The opponent is Krenko. Always has been. Again, only one green. Very strange. Uh, let's go AET. Where's the vial? Vial. Don't do it. Oh, it's funny. I didn't actually realize they changed it. So the OG Aether Vial was this, A-E, like this one weird character. Modern Aether Vials are actually A-E. So they fixed it. They actually changed the, the character that they use. That's fascinating to me. Yeah, because I went to check and I'm like, I wonder if the magic online is gonna recognize when I do AE. Like if it's gonna if I want to choose Aether Vial with an AE and the card's gonna be like, well, the character is one letter. So you didn't say that. I bet they choose goblin. They did. Yes, that's the thing. Like every time I see a character like that, I'm like, this is fucking miserable. Even when I'm trying to buy cards and I have to enter a character like that, like there was a bunch of issues when I was buying Lord of the Rings cards because there's so many things with accents on them. And I'm like, do you want the accented character or the non-accented character? Cool. The same hand, the same double green cards, the same no green mana base. Just wonderful. <sighs> they can't actually activate either ball, right? Because of this guy? Oh, that's cool. I hope they try. Oh, yeah, that's not going to work. <laughs> oh, Tithe Taker, you lovely bastard. <laughs> uh... Yep, nope, still not going to do it. That's not how Tithe Taker works, my dude. You done messed up, A.A. Ron! Okay, they're like, wait, I figured it out. Oh, good times. So we know they have three drops in hand, because they didn't they didn't plus it. <laughs> no, they're like, alright, I'll do it now. Now that I have stupid mana. Sure. They're like, well, why isn't it working? What they get? Goblin War Chief? That's a good one. That's a solid gentleman. It does not pump them though, so. Firebolt on Garrick. Sure. Now he flips. Now what are you going to do? Warchief. You got it. 
Do I just get to kill their war chief here? I bet they're just going to attack with everybody but the war chief. Or just these three. That's probably what they're doing. One, two, three. Sure. They have one card in hand. That's actually pretty good. As long as we can get a green source, right? I think we're good if we can do that. There's got to be one right on the top. Ready? Fascinating. Fascinating. Well, at least we can play two things. And really, isn't that the most important part? And we can still draw a card off of our... Our bank boy. Our bank daddy. Reckon our bank daddy. They have a firebolt. They're probably just going to kill our crypt breaker. Possibly. But then we can crew our bank buster. So that's not bad. Wait, do what? Do what in combat? Oh, the. Are you talking about the Aetherwell? Okay, Prospecty. You got it. Yeah, it's not about the top decks. It's the friends we make along the way. Oh, God, what are they doing here? Is it Muxus? It's got to be Muxus. Uh, yep, that's the only reason you draft goblins. <laughs> Reveal six. Here we go. Oh, fuck. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Solid hits. And they all got haste, too, huh? It's pretty good. Pretty good. Pretty, 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 pretty good. I think we're dead. Muxus fucks us, is right. <laughs> oh, Lord. Yep, make sure you tap that crank over 49 goblin tokens. Yep, that's good. That's. Oh, they just kill us with. They literally could just kill us with Siege Gang here. That's hilarious. Sling Gang, whatever. But the forest is right there, really. So that's. That's all we should have needed. Yeah, that was that was good times. <laughs> we do have forests in the deck, right? Jesus. What a fucking beating Muxus is, dude. That could have been us. We could have had the Muxus deck. Instead, we mucked it up. We're going to do it again. We're going to revoke that bitch. Forest? Green source. Any green source. Cool. Appreciate it. <laughs> no, not that one. Ah, that's actually fine. <laughs> I, I don't care. I got my artifact. I'm just like so over it, really. Good old goblin pile driver. Green source. No, a double green source. Double green card, rather, should I say. Yeah, because that's what it is. So. Yep, of course they have a... Get punished. Hey, look, we did. Oh, look, they, they got to put our guy into play for free, and then they got to... Like, this is what I mean. Like, I don't know, dude. Like, this is, like, I just want to play Magic and, like, not being able to play my fucking green cards when I have nine sources of green in the deck. Like, that doesn't really make much sense. Maybe I just cut the swamp and put another forest in so I have ten. And again, I go back to the old, the old fucking adage of, like, when you play a normal deck, a draft, a non-cube draft, when you play a non-cube draft, you have nine, eight. In a two-color deck, that's your distribution, 9-8. And every time you have 9-8, eight, 
eight sources of one color, nine sources of another, you're able to get your mana fine. All of a sudden, now when I have nine sources of green, eight sources of white, and six sources of black, I just don't get green mana. Yeah, it doesn't, like, it's fucking nonsense. Like, it just doesn't make sense. <laughs> this is ridiculous. It's absolutely ridiculous. Like, it's just not fun. It's not enjoyable. It makes me wonder. Like, this is the equivalent of, of playing a two-color draft and just never getting your the, the, the color of mana that's, that you have nine lands of. So if I have nine islands and eight planes, I'm just never drawing islands. And it just doesn't make any sense. Like, it's just weird to me that, like, the same situations, I have nine of this particular thing in one format and nine of this particular thing in another format. The format where they're not straight forests or straight islands or straight, like, when, they're, when the lands are not a specific type, all of a sudden, you don't get them. Like, it's really weird. It's really strange to me. Cool. Like, it just doesn't make any sense. Like, it's fucking nonsense. I don't know. Like, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine sources of green. Like, I'm just literally going to take this swamp out and put another green source in. I shouldn't need it because decks two color decks with nine sources of mana are able to draw that mana. It's like if you took a two color deck and you replaced all of one basic land type, the one you had more of with dual lands, all of a sudden you just stop drawing those lands. It doesn't make any sense. Like, I don't want to be like a conspiracy theorist and think it's the shuffler, but like it's weird to not draw any green source. In, like, multiple games. When it's 25% of your deck. Yeah, I don't know. It's just weird. I don't get it. Like, I'd love to... I'd love to say I understand it. <laughs> but I do not. <laughs> hey, look, we got a forest. I will keep it. Like, it, it, it's weird. I shouldn't have to go up to 10 sources of a color in order to get that color like it just that shouldn't be a thing we're gonna lead with this because we can't play it on turn two untapped with the configuration we have now we're gonna go get a savannah and i also have like eternal dragon to get to get colors traverse to get a second green if i hit one green like it's just i feel like the deck is not positioned poorly in order to have these things happen like I kind of made it in such a way that like, hey, we can f we can hit these cards if we <laughs> if we get one. I also feel like like the the aggressive decks are just too good in this format. Like I don't know, how, like this this cube doesn't feel very well balanced. I hate to say it, but it just feels very lopsided. Like there's cards in here that are kind of unplayable against aggressive decks, and the aggressive decks are extremely popular. And I still didn't hit a land. <laughs> so this guy's going to get countered. And we're never going to hit a land again. Those are my predictions. 
Okay, well, that's not a land. So if we get to play that guy and then hit a land off the top, I'll feel like I'll I'll feel the most that'll be the most blessed I'll feel during this during this draft, I think. Hashtag blessed. There are also cards that are just bad that I feel like are only put in here for the concession of like, I have to, we have to put magic 30 cards in. We have to, we have to put cards from every set in. So like we have to put some bad cards in like triangle of war. Like it's cute, but it's not good. Why is it in here? Like I, I don't, I don't like sacrificing the cube experience and like just for the sake of this cute theming that, doesn't enjoy like it doesn't improve the gameplay oh that's see that's exactly what papa wanted let's get busy scooting you're gonna kill this guy wow messed up hashtag no longer blessed hashtag unblessed Look at that guy. Could have played Master of the Hunt. His name is Master of the Wild Hunt, not Master of the Hunt. Blurst. It was the best of times. It was the blurst of times. Look at those wee dragonauts. If we hit a land, I'm pretty sure we just play doubling season and hope to hit another land for Huntmaster. Look at this. It's an embarrassment of riches. Oh, now we're hitting another one. This has to be correct, right? Feels correct. So I'll say yes. Let's get busy doubling. Blessings revoked. Oh, yes. Revoke the blessings. Yep, now you got a tar fire. Uh, no blocks again. Oh, you're going to let me... Oh, fascinating. Well, sure. Okay, now we're just... Look at this. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six. They didn't play anything. Do they have nothing, or do they have a, a sweet counter spell? Perhaps? Let's get busy glaring. Fascinating. Okay. Reckon our bank buster actually has six counters on it. Is that better or worse? Maybe better? Tracks or land. Tracks of land. All right. Just pass it up. Interesting. I almost feel like Glare is actually doing them more harm than than that. <laughs> I 
And I say that because I can just tap their creatures down. So what do I know? Tap you down with this little glare. We got still five cards in hand. That seems good. They didn't play anything again? So under this should be the doubling season, right? Oh, when this guy flips? Deal. Big doubler, check it and see. This is much worse when you don't have any cards in your graveyard because of this guy. So, one, two, three, maybe this guy. Maybe this guy. They're like, that's the last straw. Fascinating. Enjoy. No, I don't like it. They're like, I'm going to keep holding out until I get something good. Oh, that's kind of good though because if we played Huntmaster they would have definitely desertioned that sure well they only get one more draw off that guy Oh my god, I let them attack. God. What is wrong with me? This ugh, I'm just out of it tonight. I'm just not... I guess I don't really care. Like, that's fine. Maybe that's good. Maybe I, didn't, maybe I wasn't supposed to let them attack. Or maybe I was supposed to. They already have an instant and a creature under here, which is the only thing they can get back. Okay, sure. Yeah, maybe it's fine. They're like, wait, do we attack? He can just tap them down. But I mean, like, if they played any other creatures, it would be nice to tap those guys down too, so then I can actually get in there for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Which is over 50%. Is this a May ability? Uh, no, nope, it's you literally have to do it. So maybe it's actually better to let them do it. Interesting. Okay, well, boy, getting punished there, I guess. Maybe. Maybe not. I mean, I'm pretty sure we're just going to get to play Huntmaster here, so. Mm-hmm. 
What in the fuck, dude? <laughs> what is happening? Why did you play this student just to kill everything? I don't understand. Three, four, five, six, seven. We have eight total mana. I want to play this because I'd like to get to 10 so we can play both of these in one turn. But for now... What a chain of events is right. I mean, I feel like I would rather have student if I were them than cemetery apparition or whatever his name is. Cemetery illuminator. I guess fingers crossed they don't have an answer for our hunt master. They're going to they're going to reckon her. Yep. This card is very good. Six mana. Dead Eye Navigator. That's fine. Hard evidence. You got a crab and a, and a little clue. Let's keep that Dead Eye Navigator up. There we go. So we can dump our hand here. You don't do anything, correct? Until you flip. Oh, we're still one mana shy? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We are still one mana shy. Actually, I like playing this. Oh, let's do that. Hold on. Let's see if this does anything. Play this. We'll get back Master of the Wild Hunt. Or Courser of Crufix. Probably Master. Yeah, that just seems better. I don't need the life. And then we can tap him down or we can just make him block. One, two, three, four. Yeah, I'm just going to go through him. Yeah, cool. <laughs> Seems good. Yep, that's going to be decent with doubling season, I think. So it would have been cool if this is what the deck did from the get-go, you know? I guess we're hoping they don't have something cool for Dead Eye Navigator, but they probably will. They'll probably have something that just blinks all our stuff forever. They have Illuminator and one extra card in hand. Here we go. Flame <laughs> Dunk Gavu. <laughs> oh, wonderful. Blink, blink, blink. You can deal 12 damage, so you kill. One, two, three, four. Yep, actually, you can kill almost everything. Oh, God, it just never fucking fails. So 
So they do two to this guy. Yep, that's great. Hmm. Sure. <laughs> every every match is just fucking worse than the one before. Oh lord. Of course, it's only our end step. Okay. This. Choose this guy. Tap this guy. Sure. Just gonna blink him anyway. Watch, we're gonna draw land. There it is. Because <laughs> why wouldn't we draw our 10th land? <laughs> Either. When you need spells, you draw your 10th land. When you need spell, when you need lands, you draw your 40th spell and can't hit a 4th land. I guess we'll just get this guy in here and they'll just kill it, so... Oh, wonderful. Who's having a good time? Literally no one. Oh, they didn't blink it at the end of the turn? Fascinating. Yep, you got it. This guy? I guess they could have, I guess we could have responded to it. So they, they just, it's just safer to keep it. Um, no, click this, tap this, tap this. Sure. Yeah. It's just safer for them to keep two mana up in case we have like a trick or something. Which means we can just literally never deal with this. Okay, I don't... I feel like this is really convoluted and for some reason it's not, like, working very well. Tap it on tap. I'm like literally doing it. I'm going click, click, click. Same thing every time. The first time it doesn't work, the second time it works. I don't get it. Something good. <laughs> oh, incredible. Just incredible. Fucking amazing. I have no words. The words escape me. Oh, interesting. Now they're going to do it. Okay, cool. Yep. And here I wish I had a only whatever it is. So you want spells, huh? Uh, uh, 
Another finger on the monkey paw. This is good because they're going to get the Hunt Master, and the Hunt Master is one of the few things I thought could help us if we got like a Bruna, for example. And now it's gone. So, watch, we'll top deck a Bruna. Because it would put four wolves into play. This would take two triggers to kill it. I forgot to do a thing, but that's fine because I'm just going to block. Let's get a land out of our deck so that we don't draw one next turn. Smart. Let's get... Doesn't matter. Literally make, makes no difference. You know, it's not a spell, or it's not a land, right? So that's really the important part, I think. Traverse the Elvenwald. We have two card types. That's a land. There we go. See, we got it. Tithe Taker. This guy makes two creatures too. So, you know. Make a counter this guy? Okay. In response. Which is fine. Hmm, boy. <laughs> oh, wonderful. How do they win the game? Is that a thing they can do? Actually, maybe I don't want it to auto yield. Yep. Having fun. Everybody else having fun? I'm having fun. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 lands. Only 5 lands in the deck, right? Seems correct. Uh, okay, you haven't targeted anything yet. Okay, targeted this guy. So I will go do one of these jobbies. Tap this guy down. I did. I tapped it on top. See, and then I want to reset it because I'm like, maybe you didn't click this. Tap this. There we go. All right. And then I want to start over because I'm like, maybe you didn't register or something. Maybe I want to tap my own guy down. Who knows? <laughs> Boy, this is exhausting, dude. Sure. Oh, Lord. Tap and unta I I'm I don't understand. Yes, yes, yes. Hmm, boy. Do 
you have a way to win the game or <laughs> you're just wasting everyone's time or <sighs> fucking Christ dude oh lord so now they're just going to kill my two guys at the end of the turn, and they're going to attack for 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 15. Yeah, let's just go to the next game, because... <laughs> no in procession. Makes four guys, but we have nothing, so they have plenty of mana to, like, deal with that. Do we have anything that can deal with that? I kind of just want to bring an Avatar of Woe, to be quite honest. But then there's going to be no creatures in any graveyards because they have stupid cemetery guy. Maybe Shieldred? Shieldred just feels better than something else. That would be stupid. Taking Traverse out. Uh, Bankbuster. Yeah, this is actually fine. I mean, this gets us a savannah, so we have our double green at least. I mean, we also have this for double green, but boy, I'd really rather fucking cry. <laughs> That's funny. That's funny. That's funny. Oh, Tithe Taker. Um, yeah, so I don't want to not have another green so i think we're just gonna <sighs> there's no way to guarantee us having a fourth land and also tithe taker because i'd rather have tithe taker up in case they want to counter this but i really doubt they'll do that i mean we could have played this but i really think it's more important to have our stupid bite card Yeah, maybe a Revoker was decent to bring in. <laughs> oh, Lord. I did two drafts lately. Same experience as you. Couldn't play a match without horrendous man issues to sign the outcome. There's a reason once he wants to submit Shuffler to third party testing. And someone did 1 million sample hours in turn. Oh, uh, I think the person who did 1 million sample hours on it, um, I think their study was actually fairly flawed. Like I'm not I'm not I'm not gonna jump to the conclusion and say there's some big conspiracy going on, but I will say that it's really like not satisfying. Now they're gonna take the only four drop, which means we should have played two drop into three drop, and they would have also not been able to play this on our turn if we had Tithe Taker out. So really everything is going according to plan. For them. Hold on, I'm going to restart because it's getting incredibly laggy. I think the most frustrating thing for me is that it's really hard to like play a whole match without it being laggy. And I don't want to... I'm not putting blame anywhere, but I feel like it was not the case until Daybreak Games took over. I don't know if they changed something, but... I feel like there was a time where like the, the the memory lag, the memory leak was not an issue. Like you could just you could just play and it was fine. What did they take? I don't did they take nothing? Briar Bridge. That's what you took? That's fascinating. I guess they know we're just trading with the Garrick and they're fine with that. It's fascinating. Now I just kind of want to play, play Tide Taker in a doubling season. And then Garrick gets double the tokens when we play him. I'm sure that'll 
all work out according to plan. I'm sure nothing will go wrong. And now they're going to tar fire this guy. No, that wouldn't make any sense. Getting, giving us a 1-1 one, one when you have a million click is not the, the best idea. Oh, I actually have to tap this for green because it's my only green source. No, it's not. I got a Savannah. Ooh. Now Tide there makes two tokens. And we're still going to pass here. And they're going to just bounce this with a Brazen Bar. Whispers of the Muse. That's pretty good. It's actually pretty average, I guess. Mm, fine. We know they have Desolation, so I really don't want to... Desertion, rather. We know they have Desertion, and I... Even if it doesn't give them control of this, having Tithe take her up means they can't Desertion us. Fascinating. That seems okay. And now they got to start discarding. I don't know if Masticore is good enough in today's in today's economy. Sure. <laughs> okay, dokey. Hard to chokey. Yep, you got to tap down Tide today here because that's just the better choice. Now you'll tar fire this guy. Oh, you're just gonna kill it. Smart. Okay. Well, now you alpha. Just that guy. Uh, I will block to keep Garrick alive, for sure. Fascinating. Well, oh God, still be the fucking game. Boy, they really just never don't have it. It's kind of impressive. <laughs> Okie dokie. Yeah. It's good. It's good stuff. It's just good stuff. Just the best of stuff. Yep. Draining walk. Solid. I remember having a draining walk deck. Sure. Oh, I guess we're gonna. I guess we got the double mana here. So I guess we take seven. We go to six. Gonna really need something good here. So that means it's probably gonna be a land. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. Thanks for watching, guys. Really appreciate it. Slam those buttons. Slam the like button or the subscribe button. Any button you choose. If there's a uh, an F button, you can hit the F button. If there's a... Uh, <laughs> uh, I'll see you next time.